I am here to do a tag that I want to say that I created in my head. And there is the AC. Perfect timing, Camille. Perfect. Okay, so first off, before I go ahead and spiel what this whole tag is about, I'm gonna go ahead and tell the people that I tagged who they are. So, number one, Ali Raya, my bae from Texas. You, Shelby Reyes. Hey, girl. Nicole Novo. Girl, you always comment on my videos. I absolutely love you. You're absolutely adorable. Love you, girl. And of course, my um, Upper North twin, Camille Co. Yeah, girl. This video was inspired by Carla Jazzo. I will go ahead and link the video down below. It is a what's in my closet video, but when I clicked on it, I wasn't ex I was expecting like to see like, you know, like a closet tour sort of thing, but she did oddities and like weird stuff that she totally forgot she had that she found in her closet. So I was like, "Oh my gosh, that totally inspired me to like think about a video that's like, oh, I have I, you guys already know how much clothes I have." So I wanted to go ahead and dig through and see what I could find, some interesting pieces. Again, I am not sure if this has been done before. I am going to be calling it, that was in my closet? Tag. Yes, the four ladies that I tagged. Four. Ladies that I tagged at the beginning, this is what you do. I found five pieces of clothing or accessories that were not normal normally in anyone's closet really i go ahead and go through and do the what is it why did i buy it and was it worth it at one time or another i did buy these pieces it inspired me for some reason i knew that one time there was gonna be that one time that i would go ahead and wear it it was just so interesting and different and the price was just absolutely something i couldn't argue with so i was like i'll just go ahead and buy it so yeah aka hashtag shopaholic don't get it twisted. There are no regrets as far as any of these purchases. I'm just saying that they're different and then they're not going to be in a lot of people's closets. So I'm going to go ahead and do this as a try on haul. So you will see me wear the pieces, body on my face and all that good stuff. So the first thing that I have is this tiger onesie. You guys have probably seen this in my Christmas exchange with Emily. There is that and it goes all the way. They're not footies though. Why did I buy it? Because it was Christmas time and it was fun and we're like, why not? I decided to buy it when I was with my cousin May at Target. You know, those Target impulse buys. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It was only like $25, I think. And so I've already worn it twice. One to decorate the tree and one for my Christmas exchange with Emily. Was it worth it? Uh, yes. I mean, look at this hood, guys. Come on, that's cute. have is actually something that inspired another video of mine. I call it the clueless crop top whatever because it just reminded me of something Cher would wear. On the movie it is a crop top. It's very fuzzy how a lot of the pieces of pieces of clothing back in the day were really fuzzy and different. It has sequins on it. Why did I buy it? Because it was different and it really did inspire me to create that video and it's just such a versatile piece that you can work with anything. Again, I will link that video down below. Was it worth it? I think it was worth it. I have yet to really wear it. I think I've only worn it one time but I, I'm pretty sure this will be a staple. I don't know if I can ever give it away. I'm just saying. have actually my mom found it for me when we went to one of those thrifting places I'm not sure if this is all over the place but they have one in North Everett where you go in it's just a bunch of bins and there's no prices on anything and everything ranges from clothing to toys to books to electronics and everything and pretty much at the end of the day when you go to pay it's like 49 cents per pound yes 49 cents per, per pound for clothing. It's like different variations, but it's per pound. That's how they do the pricing. They weigh everything that you have. Just because it's like pretty much everything there is um, has run its you know cycle through Goodwill and whatever, and it hasn't been sold. So this is pretty much the last stop. So my mom found this, and it actually reminded me of JLo. Denim jumpsuit with a halter top. It has a zipper going down the side. And, but it has little buttons there just to make it look like you buttoned it up. But it is a pantsuit, you guys. 
And when I wore this initially, I did a try on on this. It was a little bit tighter. Now it's just not as tight and it's pretty loose. So I don't know. I really wanted to wear it for like the 70s thing. Like, you know, do a little fro or something. It has little belt loops here, but even if I do put a belt there, it's still pretty big. You'll see in the try on in the next clip if I'm going to even be able to wear it. Uh, why did I buy it? Because it, this thing was probably like 10 cents, let's be real. Like it doesn't even weigh like anything close really. And was it worth it? I believe it's worth it. I believe that I can probably refashion this to do something else, you know, me and my scissors and whatnot. I do have are these claw money sunglasses if you guys know anything about like hype beasts and hipster whatever you probably have seen these in magazines and whatnot larry actually bought these for me i know clump claw monies are not really on the cheaper side of things but i really liked them and larry surprised me one day with them he i think he had the, had them delivered to my house but i honestly have worn these a lot i mean they're not your you know my usual sunglasses that i usually get they're pretty dirty was it worth it i believe it was worth it because i do not see anyone else really rocking the claw money sunglasses i mean have you guys have you guys? I don't know. I don't know how much commonies are. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up and put the rice, the rice. Apparently someone's hungry. The price right here. <laughs> And the last piece of weird, odd clothing is something I got from Cambodia when I went to my trip to Cambodia back in October of last year. If you've ever been to a Cambodian wedding, you know as far as like the Cambodian cultural wear. I have a video on my second vlog as far as the photo shoot. I was able to wear these Cambodian wedding dresses and they are absolutely beautiful. So this is something that I could totally wear to a Cambodian wedding. I've yet to go to one, so uh, I'm just saving it up. But it's a really pretty, like almost, like, I don't wanna say it's a sari skirt, but it's like, you know, very beautiful pattern. And there's the bottom. Reminds me of Tide almost, but I really like that color. The thing about this is the top. The top is very, oh my goodness, the glitter is absolutely cray. The detail of the pearls and just the, just the detail of it all. Very fitted. Um, I didn't have boobs, or I don't have boobs, so they went ahead and they provided some for me. I mean, who really needs breast implants when you have these little, little circle things that look so natural? I did buy this when I was in Cambodia, and I don't know if I was like so hot that I was like bloating or something, but it's really big on me now, so like, I don't know. It, it just seems like I'm like floating in it pretty much, so I'm really sad about that. But ultimately, I think what I paid for this was like $5. So I think it's worth it. I can probably get it taken in for a little bit more. Yeah, as of right now, I mean, it fits, but it's a little bit looser than I'd like. That pretty much wraps it up for my, that was in my closet, tag. The girl, the ladies that I did tag are at the beginning of this video. I'll go ahead and have their names down below as well. And if you guys are inspired to go ahead and do this tag, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. And I will go ahead and check your video out because I do want to see what you have in your closet that I may possibly have because you guys have seen my closet. I might have the same pieces as you that you may find odd because I have no rhyme or reason when it comes to my style, just pretty much whatever is there. And I absolutely love seeing different types of clothing because you know as basic as I can be let's be real I have the high-waisted shorts with the crop top all the damn time as well as the um, I've been rocking my hat since like last year but it's full force recently I hope you guys like this video if you guys did go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos by me go ahead and click that red subscribe button it would totally make my day and I will see you guys later bye mm -hmm. And
And also I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that I am in full force with my second channel. It's pretty much all vlogging, all me, all the time with, you know, whoever uh, I can go ahead and drag along with me on my adventures here in California. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. The link will be right down there. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button as well. It'd really, really make my day and yeah.